there's relief tonight. In the South Kansas City neighborhood where six-year-old Angel Hooper was killed in a drive-by shooting. Two men are charged in the case. But as KBC 9's Peggy Bright reports, residents know it doesn't solve all the area's problems. Oh, well, it, <laughs> where do I start? From the night that it happened, it's just been kind of sheer terror. Jean Harris says the terror she's felt has not been about her, but for Angel Hooper's family. The little girl was just leaving the 7 Eleven with her dad on the night of October 17th when suddenly there was a hail of gunfire intended for someone else. Police followed a twisted trail of leads before arresting 19 year old Howard Chase and 21 year old Leandre Smith. Both are charged tonight with second degree murder. I am so relieved for her family because I know that had to have been a scary thing to even look out the door not knowing who was targeted. As this makeshift memorial illustrates, many people in this community have been deeply affected by Angel's death. They hope that it signals the end to drive-by shootings and other random acts of violence. Still, they know that's probably unrealistic. Things will continue to go on. This isn't going to stop all the crime, but it, it, it's, it's helped to know they're behind bars. In South Kansas City, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. A peace march in honor of Angel and McCole be held this Sunday afternoon at Central High School. The public is welcome. Details of the march are available on our website, KMBC.com.